Hi everyone and welcome to my video. Today we're going to take a look at the enveloper. It's a really neat tool that lets you take any type of even scrap paper as long as it's a square and helps you make it into almost any size envelope that you could possibly need. So it comes with the board, the tool, and this colorful pamphlet that has step-by-step -step instructions as well as a really useful chart that helps you make some of the more popular size envelopes. All you need to do is choose the size envelope you want. It tells you what size square to cut. And then just remember those two letters at the bottom. So we're going to do the smallest size envelope. And all we need to do is remember the letters B and C. Those letters are also reproduced on the board at the top and the bottom. I've got a square piece of paper cut at five and a half by five and a half inches and you're going to put it in the corner of your board. There's a small um, lip there. Make sure you put it right up in the furthest corner as far as it can go. Now we're going to score the first line which was the line for B and the line is always to the right of the letter. So I'm running my score tool into the groove and then you're going to turn your paper to the opposite corner and make a score line using the exact same line which was the line B. Next you're going to score the remaining corners with the other line which was the C line. And as you're making this next scoring line you'll notice that it intersects with the previous score lines. And that's the secret of the enveloper. We're just going to put the C score line on the remaining corner. And then we're almost done. Now fold in the short sides of your envelope if you're making a rectangular envelope as we are today. And there's no measuring involved. The only measuring I did was to cut the five and a half by five and a half square. And now we're just folding along the score lines. And already you can see the envelope taking shape. What you can do is on the bottom flap, fold over the little tip, or you can cut it off if you wish. But if you just fold it down, it makes uh, the envelope look really professional. And just put some adhesive on the edges of that triangle. And make sure you put it as close to the edge as possible so that you don't have adhesive on the inside of your envelope. And your uh, papers will stick to the inside when you put it in. And you just fold it back up. And tuck in that little corner. And there you have your envelope. Now you can also line your envelope and this size envelope which fits an ATC card is actually lined very nicely with a square post-it note. But all you need is a contrasting color uh, in a square that is at least as wide as your envelope and just position it on the flap with about of a quarter of an inch border and you'll see a little bit sticking out there just fold it over and then cut off those little tips. You don't have to fold it over, you can eyeball it if you want. Nobody's really going to see that cut that much because we are going to tuck that envelope liner now into the inside of the envelope. Most envelope liners do not go all the way down to the bottom of the envelope. And I'm just repositioning it. It's handy to have the post-it note because you've got the sticky side there to keep it in place. And folding over the flap again to crease the envelope liner. Now that I have it where I want it, I'm just going to put some adhesive down on the, on the liner. You don't need too much, just along the edges. And pressing it down. And there you have it. A professionally look made envelope fully lined and it'll hold a gift card or an ATC card. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.